In this week's edition of Pass the PE Exam, I'm going to solve a problem that you may encounter during your civil PE exam in the transportation section on vertical curves. I've been getting a lot of requests to review problems on this specific topic. A vertical curve provides a transition between two sloped roadways, allowing a vehicle to negotiate the elevation rate change at a gradual rate rather than a sharp cut. These curves are parabolic and are assigned stationing based on a horizontal axis. And during your exam, you will most likely need to answer one or more questions on this topic, which I will provide an example of momentarily. Now, before I jump in, let me remind you that most successful engineers will tell you that getting their PE license was the biggest career growth driver they've experienced. Whether it was due to a promotion, salary increase, or just more exciting projects to work on. You wanna get your PE license. However, preparing for the PE exam can be a real challenge, which includes solving many problems like the one I am about to show you. But through this and other videos on this channel, you will learn everything that you need to know about the licensing process, including PE exam preparation. Let's jump into the problem. So let's jump into our vertical curve problem, which you can see here. If the PVC station of 100 plus 00, 00 at 59 foot elevation is connected to the PVT station at 104 plus 00, 00, referring to the following figure, find the station of the crest. Now, here's a warning right off the bat. Whenever you have a lot of information, it's usually a trap, right? We have the station and elevation for the PVC. We have the grade one and grade two. We also have the station of the PVT at 104. So what's going on here? It's a trap and I'm going to show you right now how to avoid falling into the trap that many people will fall into. All right, so here's our problem. Here are the two types of vertical curves. You have a crest vertical curve, which we have in the problem here, and you have a sag vertical curve one having high point, one having a low point. What they're asking us for here to solve is to find the station of the crest point or the high point. That's the same thing, the crest point or the high point. Now, here's why a lot of people are going to get this wrong, because they're going to get tricked by the high point or the low point. The high point of a vertical curve is not located in the middle of the curve. It is not L over 2 that you see here. That's really important to note. A lot of people will just assume that the high point or the low point are located in the middle of the curve. And what's going to happen is they're going to assume that and they're going to go ahead and say, well, we know the length of this curve, which is 104 minus 100, which is 4. So L over 2 equals 2. And if we take the PVC station of 100 and we add 2 to it, our answer is B, 102. That is wrong. Please, that is wrong. That's the trick with this problem. They give you a ton of information and they make it look easy. So let's really tackle this problem the right way. First of all, here are some general equations about the design of vertical curves. And of course, you should be open to your book, whatever book you're using for studying, to the portion of the book on vertical curves. If you're looking for recommended books, you can visit our website at pepasspoint.com where we list some recommended PE study guides and books. Now, Something that's important to note here. First of all, this is a very general overall equation that's used for parabolic curves, which you'll use often in curve design. However, what I really want you to notice here is that people define these points on the curves differently. So for example, PVC here is the point of vertical curvature, which I had showed you earlier where, where the curve starts. However, some people refer to it as VPC, or BVC, beginning of vertical curve, or vertical point of curve. So just understand that they can be called different things, but it's essentially the same point on the curve. And you'll kind of see that as you go through. A couple other things that I want to show you here that are important. This is an equation that is really important that we're going to use for this problem, which helps you to solve x, which is the location of either the high point or the low point of a curve. Again, depending on if it's a crest or a sag. And of course, we're dealing with a crest curve here. I also want to show you a second equation that we're going to use, 
which is this equation here, where y is the elevation at any point on the curve at point x. And I'm going to show you how to solve both the location of the crest point or the high point as well as the elevation even though they don't ask for the elevation in this problem you may need to know that for future problems so the first step that I take with any curve problem or really any problem like this where there are measurements involved is I would sketch out the problem even if a sketch is provided I draw it out on my own typically because it helps me to visualize and think through the problem easier so here you can see that I've sketched out the curve and I've outlined it with all the information given, the grades, the PVC station, elevation, and so forth. So now we need to find, again, the location of that high point of the curve. Now, going back to the equations I just showed you, we're going to need this equation that you see here in the red box, because that's that helps us to find the location of the crest. So you can see here that I've taken the equation and I've written it in here. Something that's important to note is what this equation ultimately boils down to is negative g1 or grade 1 times the length over a. And this capital A is simply g2 minus g1. So you can see that I've written it out here, this x of the high point or low point. In our case, it's the high point. I've added in the numbers. So we have minus g1, which is 2, times 4, which is the length of the curve, over g2 minus g1, which is a negative 4.5, because the slope's going down, minus g1, which is 2. And remember, whenever you subtract from a negative number, the number gets bigger. So here you have negative 8 over negative 6.5. The negatives cancel out, and you get 1.231. Now, that's the distance from the PVC station, which we know is 100. So we can now take 100 plus this distance of 1.23 and we can determine that our PVC or that the station at the high point of this curve is 101.23 which is of course answer A. Again remember they've given you a lot of information it's tricky a lot of people would have quickly did L over 2 and came up with B. Now I want to keep going here I want to help you to find the elevation at this high point because you may get that question in the future. So the elevation at any point on the curve X is designated by Y here in this equation. <clears throat> and one thing to note that this term in this equation, G2 minus G1 over 2L, is often denoted by a lowercase a. So let's solve this equation out here. Here you can see I've written it with the a, so Y equals a times X squared plus G1 times X plus the PVC elevation. So first thing I need to do is solve A. So here it is G2 minus G1 which is minus 4.5 minus a 2 again becomes a larger number minus 6.5 and then 2L which is 2 times 4 which equals 8 which yields an A value of negative 0.8125. So now that we've solved the A value you can look at this equation in yellow our Y equation and we have all the variables. We have A we know X, we solved it earlier, which is 1.231. We have the grade and we have the elevation, the PVC elevation. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can solve for Y at the high point by using the X from the high point of 1.23. And you can see here I've plugged in all the numbers and I've come up with a crest elevation of 60.231. And there it is. It's that simple. You have to make sure that you just have to be careful with your negatives. That is important because here you have a negative for A, which is negative 0.8125, and you're multiplying it by a positive 1.231 squared, so that remains a negative number. So when you add that negative to 2.462, it's ultimately taking it away from it, and you get 60.231. And so there you have it. We've solved the crest or high point location, which is station 101 plus 23 feet. And we've solved the elevation, 60.231 feet. And I'm just going to say it again, and I know I sound like a broken record, but when they give you a lot of information, it can often be a trap. Many people in this problem would have taken L over 2, which was 2, and added it to the PVC station of 100 and circled or answered with 100 or 102 plus 00, and that's wrong. 
So I hope this problem was helpful for you. I hope you found this video to be helpful. In an upcoming video, I will share more PE exam study strategies and also solve a problem related to finding the bending moment of a beam that you may need to answer on your PE exam. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific problem you'd like me to solve or a question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.